Hey, what is going on guys? It's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing video. Today you join me back down the Lake of Dreams in a, in a place dearly, dearly close to my heart. Hopefully the wind noise in the background now, but I'm having a bit of a problem with my camera at the moment guys and I apologise in advance for this, but I'm going to do my best to bring the best possible content I can. But as you can see, and then probably another reason for the thumbnail is Emma next to me. So this 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 video is going to be taking my girlfriend fishing. Wish me luck. <laughs> so let, let me just um, give you a bit of a. I'm also going to get a better and bigger nosser than him. A that's, bit, uh, that's is it? <laughs> How much we bet? Is that rough? Yeah. All right, we're going to bring money involved. Then no problem. We we'll go we we'll go we we'll go a fiver in a pack of Garibaldi's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Deal. Right, so going to have a rod. She's not new to fishing, she has done some fishing and it's funny because a lot of her fishing is she's primarily done more overseas with me than she has in the UK. So do you want to touch on that? Where, where have we been? Where have you had? What I've fish got a good you... conversion rate personally. <laughs> I've caught two fish with two attempts really. So I've got a 38 pound um, mirror, mirror from That's... Hungary. Yeah. Uh, Euraqua. And then I've got a 44 pound grass carp from Parco de Brenta in Italy. So yeah you go so she's got quite a good quite a you know to have two pbs like that is absolutely brilliant she's gonna have her own, own excuse me she's gonna have her own rod and she's gonna be casting that out prepping the spots and i'm obviously gonna take you on our journey over the duration of the next 24 hours because we're gonna be here till about midday tomorrow depending we'll see how it goes there's no major rush to get home but the wind's trickling down this end of the lake and i'm definitely looking forward like i said to get my teeth into the next 24 hours and hopefully we can pick up some absolute rhinosa pigs we will <laughs> so there it is before i start this video guys give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and hopefully we can bring you an absolute banger Peace out. Peace out. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Peace out. Peace out. There you go. Oh. No, come on, do it properly. No, peace out. Come on. Peace out. Come on. Now again. Peace out. Like right, that. I've done it too much now. Right, so a great way then, guys, of particularly at Dean's, and I know everybody's not got a drone, I totally respect that. I use mainly my drone is for purposes of getting my intro videos when I'm filming at lakes to obviously show you guys exactly what to expect when you turn up at fisheries but in this occasion I'm quite lucky at Dean's I can take the drone up find the fish not mess about with it but use it to complete advantage and it's um, Emma is no stranger to the drone so in a second we're going to flick her up and basically see if we can find some fish and I'm going to sort of show you how we do it and what we're looking for so I'll see you in a second. Right then guys, I've just taken this so I don't get any reflection. Um, I'm actually in the bivvy, but Emma's just found this spot. The drone's hovering and you can see the fish are pluming up here. I've actually got a rod in the zone. I'm not 100% sure where it's land because I've cast it from this side. <laughs> That there is obviously very apparent that they're there. I mean, if I can pull up a little bit, you can see just how many fish are down that end at the moment and it might be worth a move this afternoon. So apologies, but bottom right of the screen there, you can just about see another, another spot in line with the island. That is my zone there. And funnily enough, last time I was up here, which was actually last weekend, this is where I caught that common from. So that gives you a very good gauge of where that is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move down to the jetty and I'm going to show you that in a second. So this is just down from the jetty and my god, there's like a bar here, tip of my thumb. Wind's terrible though, you can see it pulling the drone there. So that was a bit of a nightmare but in the end we did find some fish. There was some feeding and there's also some fish feeding on the bar directly in front of me. So I'm going to sort of play it by ear. I am going to feed a couple of spots because we are going to go out and we're going to have some lunch this afternoon which I'm quite looking forward to. Oh so, <laughs> so, Yeah, no, it's going to be nice. So we don't so we don't normally get out very often. Emma neglects me and... Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I'm 
massive. But no, it, it's nice to be out on the bank. And like I said, we're going to get some lunch this afternoon. I'm going to prep a few spots um, prior to leaving. So when I can, can get back, I can obviously drop the rods on them spots and hopefully nick something quicker. I've got some, a lot of corn with me as well, left over from Linear. And I've um, soaked that in our fish fish sauce as well so that smells lovely so I'm gonna put some of that out or quite a bit of that out and also I've got half a half a bucket I brung the fruit and nut with me 80 mils 10 mils there was basically we done last week and if you watched last Sunday's video we were at linear fisheries and went down there myself Tom and Lee the caravan carper and also a very very close friend of mine went up there we've done loads of product shots so as you can imagine when you're getting pictures of boilies in the bag stuff etc you go through all these bags of boilies so basically what i was doing it was all fresh bait and i was literally putting it in a bucket mixing it up and then adding the himalayan and the sauce to it to help preserve it for a few more days to obviously use later in the week which brings me here now so i've also got that with me so i'm looking forward to getting some food i know i keep saying that you can clear tell clearly tell i'm hungry and and uh prep the spots happy with that but like i said i'll keep in the loop with what we're doing throughout the day so i'll see you in a little while and i may put some bait out in a second right so we've come out of an agreement <laughs> so what we're going to do is that mix that i just mentioned to you emma's going to fish the the closest spot so it's i think it's just under six wraps which is to the left of the uh, the aerator behind me and the mix that we're going to put out and I'm going to throw it here so we've cut the agreement is I'm going to throw it out on the spot which you'll see in a second I'm going to make like little balls it's nicer stuff because what you do find is when you add the magic dust um, the sauce boilies leave them in there you'll find that you can make nice little balls out of them like so and then you can actually cast them out there's also some sweet corn in there some particle as well and also tiny little bits and nut I think that is as well and this is all from like I said from linear so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip them out in balls for Emma and I'll show you where so we're out here to the left of the in the opening and that there is to the right of the spot where that landed so I'm gonna spread it round all around that area for Emma and then obviously she's going to then cast on it later and then Emma's going to prep my spot over to the left later with the corner so I'm going to fish two different spots two different baits to see if I can entice a, entice a bite or we can entice a bite should I say yeah <laughs> so that is the bait out and to be honest I had a similar mix to put out I put out half a bucket three quarters of a bucket before I left last time I was here and I put it on that spot and that's the reason why I've jumped straight back on that spit this swim because it was only last weekend and nobody really fishes it you know a handful of people do of Dean's good close friends so in my head I thought well you know what I'm gonna jump back on that fill it up and repeat what I've done open that them fish did come in last week and have a feed throughout the week and hopefully a little little just add a little bit more confidence i think we're going to put two rods on that tonight because i've put quite a bit of bait out so i'm just going to fish two rods on that and then i am going to fish one further down that way but i think to the right of the island sort of over so this we, way look at that. so that's Proper the moody back. over the back there and apologies about the windy i'm going to do my best to guard you with my fingers but i am over the other side now with emma obviously the other spot's down that end and this is where i am going to fish a rod tonight so what we're going to do then now we've got some frozen sweet corn in here with some OG fish sauce. Lovely jubbly. And all I'm going to do So we're going to keep it quite tight down there and then what I'll do is I'll probably, this will be my rod I'm going to cast over here this, yeah that's bang on that's bang on So put, and we're going to give them a bit because there's a lot, quite a lot of fish in here but every carp loves sweet corn so that's the plan of action something completely different and not something I've done up here before but hopefully this this may just get us a bite may get you a bait <laughs> <laughs> alright wow it is absolutely weighing it down now isn't it we've re yeah. we retreated from going up the shop uh, the shop <laughs> the pub and um, absolutely started weighing it down so we retreated come back grab the keys jumped in the car we're gonna head down and get some grub. some grub now but we have prepped the swim so we've also practiced 
some some casting, didn't you? It's been a while since you picked yep. up a rod. It's hit and clip <laughs> a couple of times. So when we get back, rusty. the wraps are done. They're already clipped up on the rods. So it's just a case of clipping that link on, cast them out, hit and clip, lovely. We're gonna fish two on that baited spot. And then obviously the bit where we put the corner, I'm gonna flip that rod to the left. So hopefully when we get back later, not so pig time, but for now, we we'll us get some food. <laughs> we'll touch base for you in a bit. How's it go? <laughs> A bit, it's a bit dry in here, isn't it? Dry? Drier. Dry, yeah. We've got a radiator. This is lovely. Right, so... Look at this menu. I don't even know what to choose. Loads of stuff. Yeah, it's everything, isn't it? Absolutely loads of stuff. We got pizzas, starters. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but I'm sure we're going to get something nice. Just ordered a, a beer. What did you have? Uh, gin and lemonade. So we opted for, what is it? Camembert, you say it? Fancy Camembert, look at that mate. That's lovely. With some bread and... Calamari. Calamari. Look at this. Was that nice? I don't know, but I don't know. I haven't had a bank of food like that on the bank. <laughs> Enjoy. Well that is that inhaled. Food gone. Ready for my next course. <laughs> what did you get? A mixed grill? Yeah. Lovely mixed grill there, Emma Scott. And I've got a seafood pizza. Because I'm a seafood pizza bandit. Mussels. Even when he's not fishing, he gets seafood pizza. <laughs> if anyone knows us, we are foodies. So. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Happy days. Lovely jubbly. Salad as well. Sauces. Thank you very much. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> And the man's brought the Tabasco. Lovely. Hey, so we have just turned up our Outlaw Pro Fishing Tackle Specialist. And my God, when you turn up, first impressions, the place looks absolutely crazy. You've got two vans all side written up as well with private number plates on fair play so i'm going to pop in here now and hopefully they've got some ruber heatings that i can buy um very quickly not something i needed to buy but something i have to buy because i cannot fish without scales imagine catching that nosser tonight because i don't think emma's going to do that um you mean and... when i catch the nosser <laughs> we need to we need to be able to weigh it <coughs> excuse me so what was that <coughs> getting nervous that's why is that right yeah because i'm gonna beat you right well i'm gonna grab some bits i may take you in the store but um I may not so i'm gonna see you see you very soon guys and hopefully i can get exactly what i need happy days What a shot that is. I can't thoroughly, re I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly recommend that place, guys. If you're heading down, you're down in the Essex area, you need to pop into Outlaw Pro because that is absolutely mind blowing. And if there's some ambitions to get the, to get the cogs ticking, I don't know what is because I tell you what, that is unbelievable in there and something that I would absolutely love. And this would be a dream one day for me and Tom to have a tank like that and obviously selling our Parker Bates products within that store. What a setup and like I said, fair play to Outlaw Pro, credit where it's due. What an unbelievable setup. Classy, clean and bringing a new fresh look into carp fishing and, 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 and even into a, a fresh look into like a tackle shop. I can't even put into words, but yeah, fair play. And time to head back to Dean's to get their rods straight back out. Oh, and we also bought some artificial sweet corn, didn't we? So the, the Enterprise stuff, the old Frank Warwick stuff, because obviously we have put a lot of sweet corn out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish two of them tonight on the, on the back of the hook. And uh, hopefully, just hopefully, yeah, that big one I want on the bank. So there it is, and I'll see you, and I'll probably touch base you. Me and Emma are all set up, and uh, we're back at Dean's. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> right, so, right hand rod, Emma done, hit clip, maybe a little bit aggressive. <laughs> it was firm. <laughs> firm, we use them, firm. But that rod is, is on the money, I'll give her that. That's the right hand rod, this right one answer. here. Left, 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 left hand rod. 
Um, I put. I opted to go just next to Emma. Because uh, I've got that where that the money is. Knowing that £40 is going to be just round there, tickling the OG fish, and hopefully it drops down. Now, joke aside, guys, they're, they're, they're really close over there, really happy with them. The plan of action is now, I've thumped my left-hand rod and it has hit the ground over there. Emma's going to stay this side. We've just discussed signals. Now, joke aside, again, because this is a massive factor, because when you're over there, I don't want to be shouting across the lake, because if the fish are feeding in front of me, I need to know that I'm not going to spook them off the spot or whatever. So if I can go like this, I meaning give me some line or, you know, reel in, as in reel in and give me some line. <laughs> gotcha. That is exactly what we're going to do. So in a second, I'm going to get this little rig. I'm, this is the rod that we put the corn out on. So when we were in Outlaw Pro earlier, I managed to pick up some of these, uh, well, basically two bits of artificial enterprise, the Frank Warwick stuff. It's the, 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 the buoyant sweet corn. It's the large one as well. So that's going to sit absolutely beautiful over there. I already checked on the side. It sits lovely. Um, so that it kind of sits like this. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this in over there and hopefully get it on the money first time, drop it with the pole. I'm not going to record that, but hopefully, hopefully tonight we catch some absolute rhinoceros pigs and Emma's making funny faces behind the camera. Because I'm going to catch them. <laughs> Bosh, there it is, rod's out. And it is, oh, to be honest, I'm pretty, pretty soaked. But thanks to Carp Works clothing, I'm keeping warm. <laughs> Look at this wind, mate. Oh, no, 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 not that. You can't have that, mate. Oh, oh, jeez. Where'd that come from? I feel like we're going to get blown away. Do you reckon? Yeah. You're a macro over again. Oh, God. <laughs> not losing another camera. No. Financially crippling. But the wind, look at that wind, guys. I don't think I could ask for a better wind situation. It is smashing down this end. And come on the car! Come on the car! <laughs> wow, it's getting darker and darker and darker and darker out there at the moment, but like I said earlier, the rods are out, happy with them. The wind's not as bad as yesterday. It was not as it's not as choppy in this end. I was just looking keen. Hopefully tonight it happens. There's been a few fish flicking sort of just to the right of the um oxygenator and down to the down to my right on the reed line as well, but part of that I've not really seen much more tell a lie. Five rod lengths back from the island earlier I saw a fish go down and then actually after it bubbles come up as well where it looked almost like it was feeding. And that was in the middle. And then nothing. But look at it, it looks absolutely mega. I just hopefully tonight is the night. Come on the carp. Well wow, it is pitch black here now. You can barely see anything. You've got the light from the house, that's about it. No moon, no nothing. The moon's right behind me. But yeah, rod's out looking keen. And hopefully, just hopefully. Something big style picks it up. Good night for now. Mm, uh, real time. And it hasn't happened. A few beeps through the night in that. And um, from about six onwards this morning, over on the spot, I had a fish, or mighty fish, crash out, which is probably about two wraps to the left of the spot on the sweet corn area. And then to the right of my spot, which isn't in my zone, which is past the air rate over to the right up up against the um, reeds. I've seen two fish show exactly the same spot this morning. So I think my first point of call is, is a coffee soon. And have some breakfast this morning, we didn't do that yesterday, so I'll show you that. And um, I need to get that drone up as well because I want to see if I can see them and see where they're feeding and see if they're feeding on that bait over there because you'll, see, you'll soon see if they are. But apologies about the way, the realness this morning, but yeah, that's where we're at. Oh, no cut, bit gutted, <laughs> but there's still time. There's one thing that is, we've still got time and this year has been very good to me with 
last minute londies whether that be half an hour 10 minutes before leaving i have had fish and i've had some absolute belters this year as well and i've been mean real 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 good fish in the last hour of leaving so it can happen and hopefully it will happen but um i'm going to keep watching this morning now because obviously i've only just woke up we had a bit of a lay in it's about quarter to nine isn't it yeah quarter to nine so a bit of a lay in for me but it was nice something different I touch both of you in a bit. Well, it is breakfast time. I messed a couple of the yolks. But Emma's having rolls. Free range eggs with a view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I need to sort that mat out really, that's not very carpy. As carpy as your mug. As carpy as my mug. What she means by that is, is that. Ew. She said to me the other day, I want to clean it. I said, don't you clean that. It gets rid of the flavour. Uh, yeah. Matured over months and months and months of carp fishing, that is. Pure love in a cup. <laughs> right, time to do my breakfast. I think I'm going to have wraps, because Emma's had the rolls. <sighs> Gordon Ramsay's cousin, mate. Look at that. There's a wrap underneath there, an egg. I'll put the wrap on top, flipped it over, and a uh, little bit of ketchup in there in a second. Bish bash bosh. Look at that. <whistles> My turn now. And then I think I'm gonna redo that middle rod. It's a pan of action. Me and Emma just had a chat. I think we're gonna keep Emma's rod on the right on the spot. But it's obviously two on there at the moment. I'm going to pull the middle rod away, keep the left hand rod where it is, move that to where the middle rod was, and then put the left hand rod more to my left. And the large, the last hitch efforts to try and nick something before we leave. Is this going to be the first blank up Deans? If it is, Emma brings me bad luck. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, time for time for breakfast. So what I didn't tell you is when we were eating our breakfast, a fish. I jump up. Heard a fish crash, looked up, clear as day, right in the middle, well within my zone. So with that, I've quickly rushed to put my breakfast down and then punch one straight on top of it. And I mean, it must have been within a rod length. Um, so I'm happy with that little single, match the hatch, 15 mil OG fish. And that rod is on the floor at the moment. Bail arm sort of back, ready to go, sort of run like normal. And the line's quite-ish tight, but it looks tight, but it's not. Because I've actually pulled a lot off the spool. It's just the way it's sitting. Um, obviously that rod's staying on the spot, the baited spot, just there in the middle of the opening. And obviously this one's on the corn, directly out towards, just over there to my right. So yeah, can't do much more than that. Good slow, slow, slow pack down. There's no rush. I think we're out of here. Sort of, I don't know, one, two ish, something like that. But mate, look at that for a view. I know I say it every time I'm up here, but this is the Lake of Dreams. What more do you need with your house there and a lake in the back garden and a name to suit? <laughs> Oh, gets me going every time and even if I blank I've definitely learnt some bits up here this session and I will be back but like I said it's not over yet come on the carp and come on the Parker Bates come on so I can't lie to you left hand rod of bailed that tried it for an hour on that where I saw the fish and now I've got one sweet corn baited spot and then I've put one sort of in the middle out sort of definitely further and walked up the bank and kept my tip up and just walked it across over the trees and then put it down sunk the line pulled the line straight and then i'm happy but yeah i'm gonna leave it at that now i think i'm not gonna move them the only thing i might do is just go around and top up with a bit more sweet corn over there and um maybe now i'm gonna leave the baited spot there and then before i leave i'll let i'll fill it in let it let him have it so it feeds him up for dean as well saves him having a feed yeah, there you go. <sighs> Come on, carp. Right, well, Emma's just gone in the house to freshen up in that, but it's just, it's just been so 
but it's it's not frustrating this though. I know you used the word frustrating it, but it, it's it's just not easy. It's not easy, and I love that the fact that it's not easy because I wouldn't get the buzz I do coming up here. Um, I do like that sort of hardness factor, if you like, because it's not easy and the fish don't come out. They're not crawling up your lines. It's one of them. But left hand rod. Maybe it's the line settling. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's a fish knocking into the line, but I don't think it is. I have obviously I mentioned to you I flipped the rod out there earlier. I've just went round. I've topped up with a bit of bait on the on them rods. And what I've also done is I've just put a few bits on margin spots quite shallow but enough for a 25 30 pounder to come in and have a feed and it'd be very apparent if the fish was on the spot because um, i can go around and revisit them because they're literally a 30 40 second walk away from this particular swim so I'm gonna, i've tried that um, on the margins to see if i can get something feeding prior to leaving and then just sneakily put a rig in if i need to but yeah, I need to rethink what I'm doing up Deans, I really do, because I'm coming into that harder period now, obviously as you know, the winter time. And it is my favourite time to fish, but I do not want to repeat it last year. I had my worst winter I had in a decade, and then it started happening throughout the sort of coming into the spring months. But it was a hard winter last year, and I certainly don't want that. I want to be going back to... Um, going back to normal really if you like because normally I've, I've had some really good sessions and some really really good carp um proper nossa pigs over that sort of winter period so hopefully that's the that's the situation this year but going back to what i was saying i think i think i need to maybe start approaching this with naturals whether that be maggot worm um because if they don't drop down on that then well they're going to drop down on that they're carp and if you can put it not i'm not saying it in excessive amounts but i mean if you can give them more than they would normally see worm doesn't go in there and i know maggot doesn't go in there the odd maggot goes in i'm sure for the for the little ones when dean's looking to take them out but i do think next time i come my approach will be fishing naturals over spots tiny little intimate bags and then shooting them at showing fish and where I've seen fish, whether that be on the drone, whether that be by my, uh, using my Polaroids and going around. And I think that, that will be the way of me approaching it. Little maggot bags, potentially, or little mesh mesh maggot bags with the magic dust in there. Enough to get a bite. So when they've pulled down that spot, boom, it's game over. And maybe a little bit of zig foam with like a Medusa on the top. Sort of how a fish zigs it linear, but on the bottom. Or you can obviously do that with worm, loads of worm, five, six worms all bunched up on the top and then spom i've got a little spom and i use it in the winter months i sort of because it i'm quite i'm terrible with bait sometimes not very reserving so if i use a smaller spom obviously it goes out in smaller doses and you can spread it a little bit more so that's what i'm probably going to do fish like a little midi little no sorry little mini spom up here fill it up with chop worm a little bit of maggot over over little certain spots and then obviously put rigs very accurately on top of them and that is what i'm going to do next time um and hopefully that does the job but this is what i love about fishing you know you've uh, 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 you never know everything and i've always said to myself if i go fishing and i blank and i walk away from that session i've learned something i think when you're catching you don't really learn so much more because you're catching therefore you don't refine what you're doing but when you're blanking you you tweak little things not i, I would say in my head not unnecessary things but things i need i need to whether that's the word to use probably not the way to pronounce it but that 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 in my head is what I do. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to waffle. Emma's just turned up next to me. She's back. She's she's back and she's bad. She's ready and hopefully that right hand rod goes. Come on but the carp. Come on the carp and hopefully, just hopefully, like I said, next time I'm down now, that is the approach I'm going to take and maybe that might make it happen. But yeah, back to the lock on situation. I'm going to lock on and hopefully, just hopefully, come on carp in the last hour or so or couple of hours. Wow, I said I punched one over the back. I've just moved it because I've seen a fish show three times. Look at the flat spot. Just punched the bag, squirted the um, flat spot all over the bag on top of the, the um, same bait. And I've put it in line with the island you know, where I keep seeing this fish show. And like I said, that's three or four times now over the last couple of days. Always in the same spot. So it's a no brainer. I had to try that. I had to try that. Come on. I know we say the power of the flat spot. This is like half an hour on since the clip now. And um, I just squirted it over the bag and obviously over the bait. But you can see there where it is. Look at that, mate. Clear as day. Look at the flat spot. 
<laughs> if that don't get a bite, I don't know what will. Come on. <laughs> Please come on. Oh, last minute Londie, Bivvy's down. Still a little bit of time. Give it another 20 minutes, I reckon, something like that, and then we're going to be off. I'll definitely keep you posted before I leave, but I'm going to keep positive and just hopefully one of these rods goes. Come on, come on! <laughs> and they're not looking very carpet at the moment, they're all over the show, but I've been chasing fish. <laughs> Well, there it is, guys. I am in the car now. Stuff's packed behind me and my first blank at Dean's, the Lake of Dreams. A little bit gutted, but I've definitely taken some um, bits away with me and I've obviously learnt a few bits in the mix and it was nice to get out with Emma on the bank and obviously have some nice food yesterday, have a little explore around the local area and obviously then visit Outlaw Pro, which was, well, that was an experience in itself. So there it is. That is this week's Sunday Upload Guide. Guys, I'm sorry that we haven't had anything, no, no rhinoceros pigs this week, but that is it. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, it's funny because we had this chat earlier. I said to Dean, he was like, oh, do you still upload? I said, no, I upload wherever I catch, wherever I blank. That is the realness of of the channel. And like I said, I'll always upload irregardless what happens. And like I said, unfortunately, this time it was a blank. So there it is. It's peace out for me and Emma. Peace out. <laughs> I did that too early. You did a little bit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just before I finish this video, guys, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And I'll see you same time next Sunday, 7.30. Yeah, now you can do it. Peace out. <laughs>